je dirais que moi, mon moment préféré de la cohorte, c'était faire le graphique euh, qui relie en même temps la faisabilité du projet avec l'impact, parce que ça nous a vraiment pu permettre de débattre un peu sur euh, la meilleure idée. Et toi, Amani? Pour moi, ça serait la partie où il fallait vraiment utiliser son nom parti. Euh, on a eu la chance de créer un personnage dont on voulait représenter. Donc, pour moi, ça a été la, la meilleure partie. Euh, tout le monde dans le groupe a, a pu partager leur idée dessus. I found the startup fest really, really cool. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was the location, getting to meet, uh, you know, three entrepreneurs, ask them questions. Oh my gosh. A lot of cool things about it, yeah. Also, yeah. working in teams, I found. It was just oh, yeah. really fun, building off each other's ideas. I had one day where I was on fire. I just had so many good ideas. And uh, I think that was my finest hour of my life, really. I think that my moment favorite in the core has been the fact that we could participate and communicate with the people who are professional and in the new professional, who have succeeded, who are successful, and who manage to continue their business in general in the city every day. I think that has helped us to see the eyes of how we can also achieve this level, because in general, on the social media, we don't know how to become rich, how we can become an entrepreneur. Comment, comment ça s'apprend aux entreprises en général. Et je pense que ça, c'est une bonne manière de nous éduquer, de nous apprendre comment faire les choses, comment arriver à, à réussir, de partir de, de rien du tout à quelque chose de grand, quelque chose qui puisse affecter beaucoup de gens d'une manière positive. Le fait qu'on puisse coder, qu'on apprenne à coder et qu'on puisse apprendre à faire des applications, ça, ça aussi, j'ai aussi apprécié ça parce que euh, je code aussi beaucoup dans ma vie. Et, euh, ça m'a permis d'enrichir de, mes apprentissages, d'enrichir de, de, ce que je sais sur le codage et euh, d'aller euh, avoir un œil plus distinct sur l'intelligence artificielle et euh, sur euh, ce qu'elle elle peut avoir dans notre vie et dans notre entourage, notre communauté. I'm not that interested in technology. I'm actually going into social science. But I just thought that AI is just such a catalyst for change, you know. I just think it's such a game changer yeah. in, you know, work and everything in just so many different areas of society. So I just wanted to learn more about it because I felt kind of un uneducated on it. In my opinion, AI is the future and I feel like it's pretty important to, you know, get a glimpse into that world. I've always had this mindset that honestly, there's no knowledge that's futile. So the more knowledge you can have, the more it can help. So someone might say, oh, well, I'm not going to work in this field, so why would I want to learn AI? But like um, Josh said a bit, it is part of the future. We can't just avoid it. So might as well know about it because that's a tool that you can use in whatever situation. Uh, learning about what it takes to become an entrepreneur and learning about how you can implement AI. Really like how it works as well, what it is. Because people really sometimes get a little bit confused about that. Comment vraiment créer un projet de A à Z et mm -hmm. pas de déjà commencer avec une idée, mais vraiment pouvoir, en l'espace de une semaine et demie, pouvoir euh, trouver une personne, trouver une idée, créer l'idée et pouvoir la pitch. C'est vraiment un processus qui est super important à se connaître. Et ouais, je pense que c'est des apprentissages qu'on va pouvoir utiliser dès maintenant, mm -hmm. donc euh, dans nos études, dans nos projets futurs, mm -hmm. et ça nous permet d'un peu d'avoir euh, des capacités et euh, un peu du pouvoir à un jeune âge, ce qui est vraiment intéressant. Mm -hmm. If I had to add anything, I would want to also say there's a social aspect to events like this because like I said, um, you can't see, but behind you I'm seeing my friends. And these people didn't know each other a week and a half ago, but they've, they've become friends. Like my friend group, obviously Josh was part of my friend group, if you couldn't tell. We've become so close in just a week and a half and it's um, amazing to see how youth are getting together because I feel like adults are always scared. Oh my God, the youth is just... Um, partying, we're all always on our phones, but like events like this bring us together and I made amazing friends in just a week and a half and it's truly amazing to see.